Oh, okay, what else? Oh, I think we have to go to planes. Those exciting objects. Because we talked a few times about them, saying that three points determine the plane. Can you tell me, by the way, how exactly three points determine the plane? What does it mean that three points determine the plane? I can give you three points. Three points. <clears throat> well, let's say uh, this is one point. Can you can you remember that point? The, the marker will point out to that. This is another point. Here it is. And here is another point. Make it spread. You just told me three points determine the plane. How can I imagine that plane? Where is it? What does it mean that they determine the plane? And I'm not talking about peculiarities between uh, the difference between reality and abstraction. Right? I'm not asking you to point. find. I'm sorry, what? The plane intersects the point. A plane that. The plane that the point intersects the three points. Well, yes, the, there is a plane through these three points. So where is it? How to, how to imagine it? Can you imagine that plane? What, what do you do to imagine that plane? Can everybody imagine that plane through this point, that point, and that point? Yes? So what do you do? How come you can and I cannot? Can you help me imagine that plane? I imagine like stretching a point from there to there and stretching that line. So you stretch this point from here to there. So you join these two points by a line. Okay, that I can do. I can imagine. A line, two, term, two points determine a line, and I can, I can imagine that. We talked about straight things, although nothing is straight, but that's okay. So, and then I can join this point and that point. Imagine a line here and a line there. Now I have three lines. And, and then, then what? Fill it in? How do I fill them in? Well, I know. Uh, I got advice a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm still in the process of repairing the house from that storm in April. And I got advice that uh, the shingles I have are two dimensional. They're old and two dimensional. And the new advances in architecture suggest I get three dimensional shingles. They're of approximately the same price, but they are lifetime warranty. That all kind of nice things. So, so at this point, I will take this triangle and fill it in with three-dimensional shingle or something. So, how should I fill it in? Have you seen those three-dimensional shingles? If you pass by newer houses, you see those like popping out on the whole roof. The whole roof is not flat; it's like covered with those. Pimples or whatever those. So, so how how do you fill in that thing made up of three lines? Shortest distance twenty. Shortest distance between twenty each. Between each. So I have a line here and another line, and they intersect. Right. The shortest distance between these two lines is zero. Right? You said well, 3D, yeah, you said, you said 3D, but I'm just talking just a straight line. Well, yes, so so, so what, what exactly are you doing, talking about straight lines? Because now I imagine only three lines, from here, from that point to this one, from this to that, and from that to this, right? a triangle. And I'm wondering what's inside that belongs to the plane. Aha, uh -huh. so you take you take points on each of these two lines and connect them. And then pick two other points, connect. 
to other points connect. And all these intervals will will pile up, making huge pile of, of things. No? Will they stay straight and make a plane? Is that what you expect? If you throw in all the intervals between all the points, is that what you expect? That all these intervals will align into something flat that you will call a plane. What about the point here? Is that plane here anywhere? So where, where is it? I know now how to find the plane inside this triangle. You told me. Right, I, I got to connect all the points. How would I find it right here? Because the plane is somewhere here, right? Where? So extend the lines. So instead of connecting two points by a segment, connect them by a line, and that line will go forever, right? And they will have all those lines out there sticking out and filling up space here and hopefully making together a nice flat plane. Is that what we expect? Isn't that sort of a complicated process? Well, drawing three lines is not that complicated, but imagining all the other lines connecting all the possible points. And by the way, when you take three points, connect them, it is not only that you can choose points on the side and make a line there, you can also choose points on any two existing lines and throw in a line there and a line there. And do you still hope that all these lines align and make a straight thing? You see how strong your belief is in that imagination? So you strongly believe that something happens Although the process is not predetermined at all. Right? You are willing to go with any sequence of points and throw in these lines in any possible order. You still believe that they all together will make one nice thing called a plane. Oh, it's good. It's good. We all believe in something. In something very abstract, very imaginary. So that's what the plane is geometrically, right? And the problem is that it's very hard to explain what it is. It's very hard to check if a point here belongs to the plane. How do you check that? I mean, you can try to draw all those possible lines and wait until one line will cut through that point. But the fact that the line doesn't go through that point at this time, doesn't mean that the next line will never. And how long should you wait building those lines, 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 right? So even the simple question of whether a point belongs to that plane, well, that requires some construction, some ideas of, of how to check it. And uh, and still. Despite all those strange imaginary things, you strongly believe in something, right? So, hold on to it. I don't want you to give up on your belief. Uh, but we will develop algebra, okay? The algebra that will allow us to compute, to figure out simple things quickly, and 